this strawberry jam. And there it is. 20 grams of jam. Do you know how excited I am about this? Like, it doesn't look like a lot, but it makes all the difference. Uh, 35 grams of whey protein, 90 grams of oats, and 20 grams of Tesco's strawberry jam. And some water as well. It's always a necessity before we go train. Today we've got push rotation B. Um, like I said, I'm not log booking anymore. I'm just going in the gym and trying to get the same numbers that I was going for, but not beating myself up about it if I don't get them because obviously fatigue is quite high at the moment and everything's kind of adding up. So I'm not going to be really pressing the numbers that I was pressing three or four weeks ago when carbs and everything was a little bit higher. Anyway, I'm going to give you a live taste test of this jam because I feel like you guys deserve that. You've been through this journey with me. So, look at that. Good. No! You guys see that jam? Fuck off. You guys see all that jam? Good. Wow. When are you guys gonna get bored of me recording myself eating oats? I'll never understand. Like, again, I've just found myself that I'm in the same position as last video that I'm recording myself eating oats. Anyway, I'm gonna eat the rest of this meal, catch up on a bit of editing that I need to do, and I'll see you guys when it comes to going to the gym. Right guys, so a couple of hours have passed. I picked up a white monster for today's session. I feel like I need it and then I wasn't really feeling like a coffee today because it's quite hot outside, so I picked up a white monster. Um, today's session should be a good one. I'm feeling a little bit better. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's those extra carbs, maybe like the placebo of those extra carbs are making me feel just a little bit better. So hopefully we can get in the gym and have a very good workout. So I'm just about to make my intra workout and what I have been using recently is this, the Recover EAAs by Nova Farm. And I wanna say this now, this is the best EAAs I've tasted. I don't know why, but they just taste so good. And I find that I'm like sculling my intra workout throughout my session because it just tastes so good. So 100% would recommend. A little bit more pricey, but for the panel as well, you saw that I showed you the panel a couple of videos ago, but honestly, they taste so good. So I'm gonna make my intra workout now. I also have five grams of creatine in there as well. I'm gonna crack open with my monster, which I'll do on camera because I haven't had a monster in uh, weeks. I can't remember the last time I had a monster, I generally can't, so. Uh, so refreshing, isn't it? Uh, so good. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on making my intra workout and I'll see you guys outside the gym. Right guys, so I just pulled up outside the gym. Like I said earlier, it's push rotation B today, so it's more shoulder dominant. And I'm not gonna go in there and just chase my logbook numbers. Like I said, there's no point, um, especially this close to a show. You know, six days out, there's no point going into the gym and just straining my ass off trying to get the same numbers that I was hitting a couple of weeks ago, because it's just not gonna happen. Um, so we're probably gonna go in, train, probably about two reps in reserve. I don't really like training that way, but again, it would be silly to go in the gym and just give it 100% because if I got an injury or something this close to the show, it would just it would just ruin the whole show. You know, the last thing I would need is niggles and everything coming towards this close to a show. So, I'm gonna go in the gym. The monster is down, I'm feeling good, and hopefully we can kill this workout. I'll see you guys after.
You know what? That actually wasn't a bad session at all. I'd probably rate it a 7 out of 10. And 7 out of 10, 6 days out, that's pretty decent. Like, I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, post-workout food. I've decided to switch out the kale because it was giving me some digestive issues and it was just bloating the hell out of me. So, well, I think it's the kale anyway. So, I've decided to switch it up and just add some more courgette into my post-workout meal and also add the just more of the um, baby button mushrooms which are really good so in this meal I've got 200 grams of egg whites 200 grams of courgettes 62 grams of asparagus 200 grams of the baby button mushrooms and 80 grams of beetroot with some of the anabolic mustard on top and for the good part of today because we're allowed more carbs. Um, I've got 10 grams of dark chocolate spread evenly between two rice cakes and then I've got two normal rice cakes as well. So four rice cakes in total. Ah, it's just the carbs are coming in slowly and tomorrow's gonna be exactly the same, same amount of carbohydrates. So 20 grams of jam extra in the morning for oats and two extra rice cakes. As you know, the dark chocolate has dropped just a little bit. Um, we don't actually need that fat in there. So we're just trying to raise the carbs and keep the calories kind of the same. So that is my post-workout meal. I'm not gonna give you a live taste test because I'm quite sure you guys don't care. So I'll just see you guys in a little bit. Right guys, so I'm back with meal three or post-post-workout meal. In this, we've got 200 grams of raw weight beef mince, that's the 5% beef mince, 20 grams of the anabolic mustard, 200 grams of courgette, 125 grams of asparagus, and 80 grams of beetroot. That is it. No carbs, no carbs for the next meal either. Um, right now I'm going to carry on planning my training program for when I come off prep or for when I finish these two shows. So I'm really trying to like think about it, really trying to structure it well. So I've got a good plan when I come out of prep to gain a lot of muscle. And I'm listening to a lot of podcasts. I'm listening, I'm watching a lot of JP's member site, learning a lot about training just so I can optimally grow muscle as much as possible. And we're going to take a four year off season after this and then come back in 2023 as a junior and hopefully be massive because we had such a huge off season. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this meal and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Right guys, so I just got to Bex's house and a parcel came through the post and I'm really excited to show you guys because I've been wearing the same trainers for I think a good year, like day in, day out. I used to work in them and they were just disgusting. Like they had holes in them. They, I think the color of the trainers actually changed. Like they're meant to be gray, but they started turning black at the front and they're just disgusting. So I decided to buy a new pair of trainers, which I'm gonna show you now. Quickly first, what the hell are those socks? <laughs> they're Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> oh dear. No, not them. Oh yes, Jordans. This is my first pair of Jordans. I've never owned a pair before. But look at them, Jordan 6 rings. How nice are they? So I actually managed to size down in these. Usually I'm a size 10, but I've got 9.5 because 10 was a little bit too big. So basically last week we went to Blue Water because I wanted a new pair of trainers. And I found them in Foot Locker and they were £140. But I went online and then there was a like a 10% uni days thing you could use for like students and I've still got my student kind of discount so I decided to go online and buy that because you couldn't use the uni days in store which was a bit silly but I ended up getting like 10% off so £120 or £126 for a pair of trainers yes that is expensive but they will last me like they're not knitted at the front either and I won't be wearing them to work or whatever so they should last me a long time. Anyway, right now, me and Bex are gonna walk to Sainsbury's because I've got some steps to do. And we're also gonna go see the Lion King tonight. So, be waiting for a review of the Lion King. I don't know how I feel about going to see the Lion King. I remember it was like, 
it was one of my favourite films when I was a child. But I'm really hoping the kind of like the remake of it is good. I've apparently like a lot of people are giving it like a ten out of ten, so hopefully it's good. Sorry to interrupt, but it's fucking raining right now. We've still gotta get those steps in. We've still gotta go and get those steps in. <laughs> the the joys of prep. Anyway, we're gonna walk down to Saintsbury's. No, you're not in prep, but you gotta prep. You you're you're joining this journey with me. And you've been for it all, so you might as well finish it strong. <laughs> anyway, we're going to walk down to Sainsbury's and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Before we go to Sainsbury's, can we just appreciate these shoes? Yeah, look at them. Beck's got some new shoes as well. Fresh. Air Forces. Should have gone with the Jordans. Look at these. Beautiful. I need bigger calves though. Screen 11. Right guys, so we just got back from the cinema, from Lion King, and I'm not gonna lie, it was actually pretty good. I'd give it a solid eight out of 10. It was definitely easy to watch when it becks. Mm -hmm. What would you rate it? I'd say eight out of 10. Eight out of 10? Yeah. yeah. It, it was good, like it was easy to watch. The only problem is, is my ass was killing probably about halfway through the film because I've got like no body fat on my ass, so. I, I probably should have brought like another pillow or something, but obviously I can't do that in a cinema. And a little tip for you guys, if you're dieting or on prep and you go to the cinema, just buy like a sugar-free drink, so like a Pepsi Max Cherry or whatever. Bring that in with you and also have like a, you know one of those 10 cow jellies that you've seen me eat in previous videos? Bring one of them in as well. Um, it's just a little bit nicer to have like some kind of snack because I'm always used to going to the cinema and having like popcorn and everything, but obviously I can't have that. Anyway, for the last meal of the day, I do realize that this video has turned into a full day of eating and I do apologize for that. But in this meal, we've got 186 grams of turkey mince. 160 grams of green beans, 62 grams of asparagus, and then four sauces, I've got 10 grams of the, I think it's like the hot sriracha, and then some chipotle sauce on there as well, but the chipotle sauce is like really good on calories. I can't actually remember the brand that makes it, but it's got, um, it's like, I think it's like per five meal, is like two calories, so next to nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Me and Bex are gonna chill out for the rest of the evening and I'll see you guys in the morning. Right guys, so it's currently the next morning now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this full day of eating video. I know it was kind of like an unplanned one, but I just realized that I was recording all my meals and everything, so I might as well make it into a full day of eating. I'm not gonna bother putting the calories or the macros on the screen because you guys know what I eat and if you don't then go check out another one of my full day of eating videos where I put all the calories and the macros on the screen. Also guys, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. It's at Max Dyson Brown. I'll leave it on the screen right now. I'm trying to build my Instagram up a little bit more and especially on show day and everything. If you want to like know where I've come and everything, obviously Instagram is going to be the first place that I put that and I'll be like kind of documenting it through Instagram as well. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, Follow me on Instagram. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for today's video. So, guys, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, then fuck off. And what if you want, subscribe. Peace out. Yay!